Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? Nah, this ain't no clickbait. Hey guys. Hey guys, it's Steph and Tasha and we are back with another video. Before we get into the video, I want to ask you guys to please thumbs this video up if you like it, share, comment, and subscribe. If you're new here, welcome to the family. Thank you for subscribing and if you've been here before, welcome back. Baby's going to tell you what we're doing today. So today, you guys, we are doing a king crab seafood boil mukbang. We have a lot of different stuff, so we all, oh, and also we're trying out one new sauce from our viewer. Yeah. So shout out to Triple K with Mama. Yes. We'll talk about that more when we get into the video. You ready to eat it? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> then let's get into the video. All right, guys, we're back. So we got our food from Boiling Crab today, you guys. So we got king crab legs, as you can see here. Very nice size. Looks very juicy and delicious. Yeah, that's big. We got green lip mussels. We got corn. We both have french fries. Mine are lemon pepper. Tasha's are Cajun. Mine are triple X hot. Oh, okay. Yeah. We got some regular boiled shrimp. And what is that? I got a, um, I don't even really know what it's called, but it's a tomato sauce with crab and sausage in it. Okay. So I got the medium shebang. She got extra hot shebang. Mm -hmm. This is, what's her name? This is um, Sarah's sauce, brown skin Sarah. I had to bring it back. Right, we did hers last, I think the last, last video. So we love that, so that's, that came back. And then we have one new sauce. So our new sauce is from Triple KT with Mama. It's butter, Old Bay, brown sugar, garlic, and ginger, you guys. So let's go right into tasting that. Oh, okay. Let me get my ketchup. Oh, shit. <laughs> Juicy. The shrimp was juicy. Wet in my eye. Okay. Triple K T with Mama. Mm-hmm. I'll mix it around. Mm. I didn't even taste it. I just made it. You like it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely like that. Mm-hmm. It's good. It is good. There was that hidden muscle. And I'm gonna steal. Let me see if I made this good again. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. So I'm a little disappointed because they forgot to bring the lime, you guys. So we're stuck with lemon today. <laughs> All of a sudden, I love not lemon more. I mean, lime more than lemon. Right. Who told us to try it? Somebody told us to try it, and when we did, that was a done deal for Stephanie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this triple X hot shebang sauce, y'all. See if it's really. Mm. Yes, I love these. It's really hot. This thick is so good. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, that's good. Mm. It's hot. It might be. Mm, 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 that corn just. Drenched in sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, it's so good. Shit. <laughs> so excited. Mmm. 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 That corn is good. Mmm. -hmm. <clears throat> Woo! This sauce is hot. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. It's making me cry a little bit. <clears throat> mm. Oh, this is so good, y'all. This sauce? Mm. Bomb. Mm. Mm. I think it's time to crack open over King. 
Wow, came right out for me, yo. Mm. That's love. Mm. 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 I'm, I'm definitely getting women rained. <laughs> Mm. Oh. Oh, that was good. Was it? Hell yeah. Mm. This about to be even better. Oh. Nah. Sorry. Yeah, no, look at this, y'all. Please. Ooh, that does look good. Whatever. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Bye. I don't know if you want me to let you know you got stuff dripping down your chin. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. So I'll get it. I'll get it eventually. Yeah. Yes. This mm. sauce is fire. Mm. You want some ice? Mm -hmm. It's really good. Sure. Mm-hmm. I'll just take it. I'll just have a little bit. <laughs> mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's mm -hmm. I'm going to try this, y'all. It's got sausage in it, some crab meat, it's tomato base. It's good. It's good. Mm. Mm. I might save that for tonight. This is so good. It's so good. I'm gonna take a little piece of that. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. It's so good. I'm gonna try triple K sauce with my crab. Mm. Let me have them see this. Mm. Oh. channel we normally eat for a little while talk about the food and then later we will have a discussion so stay tuned if you enjoy talking and people with interesting perspectives because we definitely have some <laughs> mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm so happy mm. I'm saving this for later though. What's what what um what what's in it? It's a tomato, it's like a bisque. Um it has sausage, crab, tomato sauce, Cajun oh, seasonings. So good. 
You dipping the fries in there? I dipped the fries in this. Whoa. <laughs> is that good? Or, it looks like a potato. See, I'm like, you dancing or something? Hell yeah, shit good. Um, let me try this little dipping you doing over here. Mm. Mm. Pretty good. Whoo! You tearing the muscles up, huh, baby? Uh huh. I see all the ones from over there look like they gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize I like muscles like this. I know, me either. But, um, they're really good. Really good. Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 Now you know. Woo! I'm gonna try some lemon on my fries. Just because. Uh oh, this is a lot. Oh, sorry, babe. I'm done. Mm. Mm. Am I eating everything? I know a lot of people say I'm always eating yeah, you everything. Want some? Some more I don't want to be eating everything from me, babe. <laughs> It's okay. All I'm concerned with is my king crab and these lemon pepper fries, really. Mm. Ooh, crab meat. So we didn't really have a topic today, you guys. I just. I would tell you guys or share what made me fall in love with Stephanie or want to be in a relationship with her and want to marry her. Um, I can remember before I got into a relationship with Stephanie, I had this idea that a lot of people, and it could still be true, I mean, to be honest, but I had this idea that a lot of people were only dating you for their benefit. Right? People only wanted you if you could give something to them. And it doesn't necessarily have to be financial, but, excuse me, emotional, um, any kind of support, but you had to be giving them something. Now, I do understand you have to give people respect, you have to love them, and you have to, a good time. I don't mean that. I mean their entire purpose is not... Basically, I just felt like nobody really loved me that I was with. I felt like it was something. So when I got with Stephanie, when I started dating her, I felt the same way about her because I didn't give her an opportunity to make me feel any different. And th things started happening with her. Like even when I, we weren't dating, when we weren't doing good, you know, I could still tell that she was looking out for me. You know, and I don't mean as far as money or whatever. I mean, she still cared about, she was that person that even if she's in love with you, but you guys aren't doing well and it's because you have some issues, she's going to say, you know, you need to go and you need to figure out whatever you need to figure out. But I just saw Stephanie, Stephanie was helping me in ways that weren't benefiting her. You know, it, it would only benefit me. So I knew at that point that this is a, She's about me. She's not about her when it comes to this relationship. She's a person that wants to see people happy no matter what it is. And that made me fall in love with her. Seeing that she was <laughs> see, I mean she was somebody I could trust and somebody that anybody could trust. And somebody that you could look out for. Also, she didn't need me. You know, it's You would think that you would want to be with a woman who needs you so you could feel needed. I didn't want to feel needed. 
you know, I wanted to just be me. I never felt like she needed me. I felt like she would be okay without me, but she wanted me. And that made me realize a lot. And I mean, with all that and with the <clears throat> fun that we had together and the relationship that we had, the communication we had, that is what made me fall for her and want to be with her for the rest of my life. Aww. And some other stuff, but you know. <laughs> Shut up, babe. I wasn't even talking about that. <laughs> well, so it's my turn. Okay. Why, baby? So my story is, well, I think a lot different. I didn't go into us dating as skeptical you know as you did but I have been a person who have had has been skeptical about people in relationships you know that I've been in so I do understand that and not to say I was completely open because I wasn't I was closed off in a lot of ways too but I knew right off after we started we knew each other like two years before we actually really really started dating you guys so mm -hmm. once we got to the point that we were really starting dating and spending more time together I knew very very early that I'm not gonna say that I was in love with her or that anything, but I knew that the possibility was like huge that we could be a really good couple. Never did I think we would get married. <laughs> Cause I didn't I wasn't even thinking about that, you know? But I was like, this is definitely a person I could really be with. Um as uh, people say Pisces are intuitive and all that, and even psychic sometimes. I don't feel like I'm psychic, but I do know that she is I'm really trying to think back. I really feel like you're like the only person I've ever been with that I felt this way about in the beginning. Like I usually was like, this ain't gonna work. Like right off. Yeah. I'm like, this ain't gonna work. But with her, I was like, this is what this could work. Like right off. And that was based on how I felt when I was around her, how we got along together. We had a real peaceful um existence together, which I loved. Yeah. I didn't have that with other people. It was always like, you know, headbutting and arguing yeah. and you know. I don't know. It was just really peaceful and I loved it. And it's always been like that. We have had issues, but when we haven't had issues, which is most of our time, we have a really nice relationship, you know? Right. Like we, I think we both feel at peace. Um, she inspired me to do things that, to do things and also to be a better person, things that I've always wanted to do. You helped me to do a lot of things that I've always wanted to do. And I, and I just feel like the, those things were huge signs to me that, that like you possibly were the one, you know? Yeah. And then along with just like her, her personality and stuff, her um, compassion and her dreams about what she wanted to do with her life, like the bigger things, like really corresponded with what I wanted to do. So that's, that was huge too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm glad it all came together because I feel like we're on a, a road to, to making those dreams and goals come true. Yeah, also, I've never been with anyone who shared some of my dreams and desires before I met them. You know, like, I talked about what I wanted and she talked about what I wanted and they were similar. We both really think about other people a lot. I, I think everybody that I've been with has been kind of selfish, honestly. Maybe not completely selfish, um, but there have been some that were like extremely selfish and then some that were just like whatever, you know. But I've never been with anyone who wanted to do something for other people, who, who thought about other people like I do and who hurt behind other people um, and things that people go through. And so I appreciate that about her. She also has a lot of compassion. Mm -hmm. And that was important to me that was important to me to because how can you be with somebody who's selfish as hell with other people they're, they're the same way with you they're just not like that because y'all together wait till you're not together anymore they're gonna you're gonna be just one of those people that they don't care about that they you know um and, and she's an excellent mom i mean i really didn't know that at first because you know i didn't really necessarily have her and my son around each other so much like that when we were dating but once we were dating for a while, then I started to bring them around each other and they clicked. I mean, their birthdays are seven days apart. So um, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but she's just a great person and he likes her. And they're so much alike, you guys. It's like I have two of them living in the house with me. 
they both deal with me the same way. They know when mm -hmm. they know when they need to just leave me alone and don't say anything to me. They mm -hmm. know exactly how to deal with me. They know how to make me smile or make me laugh, and they know when to leave me the hell alone. Right. We both goofy as hell. Yeah, I'm trying to scare you. They both like to scare me <laughs> and because I, for some reason I get it out. jump scared so easily. So they'll be around the corner. Ooh. <laughs> and I really get scared. It's crazy. It's been like this for years. So. Yeah, we have a cool, fun little family. I wish we did more together yeah. um, sometimes, but um, we, we're working on that. Like I said, we're not perfect. We could do more. Yeah. We could be doing a lot less too. If we both had started doing other things that we wanted to do and should have been doing earlier in life, we would have more time. Yeah. Now we've been so much time focusing on trying to catch up. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, I think I spent so much time in relationships that weren't great, mm -hmm. arguing that it takes away from things you want to do with your career, with your life, with school, all of that. It right. takes away and from family. It. Yeah, because yeah, I would like to visit my family a lot more, but I just don't have time. Right. You know. Mm -hmm. And right now, I should have time. If I would have been doing the stuff that I should have been doing years ago, I would have time to do a lot more of the other things that I want to do. Right. So yeah, it's hard to manage all that. If you're in a relationship. And you're basing your relationship off of your past relationships. Don't do that because people are so different. And when you do that, and that person knows, like, for say, for instance, you get into a relationship. Now you've had things in your past that have happened, which is understandable, and you're still hurt from it, and you're trying to heal from it. That's fine. You really shouldn't be getting into a new relationship until you heal from stuff. But if you do, don't bring that old relationship and all those problems into the new one. I mean, you may need to talk to somebody about it, and it's okay to talk about it sometimes. But nobody wants to be in a relationship with someone who is constantly talking about their ex and how their ex hurt them. You need to find somebody else you can talk to about those things or not be in that relationship until you can heal from all that stuff because you're going to take out the pain and hurt that you um, received from that last relationship and it's going to manifest in your new relationship. It's going to happen. When you say some need to talk and all that, are you talking about somebody who's really not over what happened? I think I'm more so talking about somebody who's not over, not not okay. talking about like we've talked about our ex. Yeah, I was gonna tell stories and all that. Yeah, I, I would be a little concerned if somebody was just like distraught and needed to um, talk to me about their ex all the time. I don't think I would put myself in a, a, a situation with them to get myself hurt. Yeah, because they don't seem like they're over it. Yeah. You know, if they're just like constantly talking about their ex and maybe crying about it, and that they don't really, you know. Yeah, I mean, I got into a situation where I was not over. So you. Okay, when we, me and Tasha had a break, um, about a year after we started dating, we had a break. So we didn't talk for a few months and I was dating somebody, I started dating somebody else and I was distraught y'all, okay? I mean, I was over there crying and everything. I've never felt like this. I'm, I'm a really strong person and usually when I break up with a person, I'm done and that's it. But I've never felt this before and I was just like, I was hurt and I was sad. I cried several times around the person. And I was like, you don't need to be uh, getting feelings for me because I'm clearly not ready. And I told her, I mean, I was like, do not get no feelings for me because I'm not ready. You know, I definitely were not, was not over you. Mm -hmm. And I think she did. And once I felt like she was getting feelings for me, I, I cut it off because I was like, I'm just going to do nothing but hurt this person. So she, that should have been a red flag for her. <laughs> you know, you up here trying to get your feelings. I think people like that challenge, though. In a sick way. Yeah, they do. You Some know? people do. I wouldn't personally want to get into a relationship with somebody who was talking about their ex all the time. I just wouldn't do it. Um, like when me and Stephanie broke up as well, I got I started kind of dating, not like Stephanie was. I was just hanging around this chick, and she was doing the exact same thing I was doing, y'all. Yeah, I told the girl. I told the girl how I felt about. Um, I told the girl, I'm wearing in my hair. I don't feel like you got all no. of them. I told the girl that I um I still have feelings for Stephanie and she was fine with that. And then I told her I mean she was fine with it. She seemed like she was fine with it. I told her People that, never mind it. Well she acted like she was fine with it and then two months later when I decided I wanted to call Stephanie and try try again, um, she was like, What's going on? I'm like, We already told you what it was, you right. know, so bye. She took it hard. I think she cried and stuff. Yeah, you know, it was horrible tears. I was happy when I told her, cause I mean, I was happy it was over when I saw her cry. I was like, Ugh. yeah, that was a hideous cry. I don't want to be over here laughing at that if shit. You that cry, shit sound funny if too. You cry ugly. Stop crying. Okay.
And let me tell y'all why I'm talking shit about her yeah, first. Please do. Because she is a piece of shit. That's the only reason why I'm talking stuff about her, y'all. She is not a good person at all. If you guys um, are new to our channel or maybe haven't seen this, we did a video on dating a pathological liar. Yeah. This is the person we're talking about. That's so check that out. Yeah. And you'll understand why we're laughing about her. Yeah. She wasn't a great person. Guys. Yeah. That's it. That's the only reason why I'm talking about her. Go check out that video. So we're going to get out of here, y'all. We hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the boil. Yes. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing. Um, click that notification bell so you can be notified of our upcoming uploads. Check out our um, blog channel, Steph and Tasha Vlogs. The link will be here in the description below. And you got anything to say? That? Yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, let us know what you guys think. We love talking to you guys in the comments. And um, until next time, only good vibes. Peace.